Hello, it's Father Aaron from St. Albans. We are about to begin the holy season of Lent. And during this season, the Church calls us to prayer, to the study of Scripture, to fasting and almsgiving. Those are hard things for adults to do. They're even harder for children. Today, I particularly want to talk about two, the study of Scripture and prayer, and actually how they might be combined. Now, Usually when we teach children about the Bible, we focus on the stories, right? Because children love stories. The story of Daniel in the lion's den, of Noah's Ark, the stories about Jesus, and that's great. They are important to our faith. But if you've spent any time at all with the Bible, you probably know that much of this is not story. It's poetry, it's wisdom literature, it's instruction in the faith. And those things can be harder to convey to children. It can be harder for adults to absorb, for that matter. Maybe you know the term Lectio Divina. It's literally holy reading, and it's a method of praying scripture. It's contemplative and meditative, quiet and slow, and really hard for kids to do. So the Community of the Lamb, which is an order of Roman Catholic nuns, has developed a Lectio Divina that is kid-friendly. So first of all, I claim no credit for this. This is their invention. But the method is simplicity itself. And this method is designed for a group of children. And that could be a classroom or a Sunday school. It could also be a family, the adults and children praying together. Beforehand, a, a section of scripture is chosen, perhaps one of the readings from the coming Sunday, uh, maybe a portion of a psalm or a handful of the Proverbs together. A portion is selected five, six verses, not long, and an adult goes through and breaks it up into small sections, just tiny. And you'll see from the example what these sections look like. So having selected the scripture, sit down in a circle, and the adult reads through the passage, reads through once for sense, just the sense of the, of the passage. Then, reads those little sections, those little chunks, one at a time, reading them to the child sitting next to them. That child then turns and repeats the passage, that little chunk, to the next, to the next, and around the circle. When that first little chunk is spoken back to the leader, the leader then moves on to the next little chunk and speaks that, and around it goes. Until finally the last little chunk is spoken back to the leader, who then pauses and then reads through the passage again and then asks the question, what did you hear God say in that passage? How did God speak to you? What did you find interesting or challenging, difficult, uh, fun? What did you have a question about? What would you like to think about more? And the children are invited to share what they heard, what engaged them, what grabbed their attention. It's simplicity itself. It can be bracketed with prayer beforehand and after, but the heart of it is that slow reading of Scripture and the sharing, what did you hear in that passage? Now, this is probably easier shown than explained, so here's our family engaged in this Lectio Divina. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. you. Let us be still and quiet our minds and hearts. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. Beloved, Beloved. 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 Let us love one another. 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 Love one another. Because love is from God. 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 Is from God. Everyone who loves. 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 
is born of God. Is born of God. Born of God. Is born of God. Is born of God. And knows 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 God. Whoever does not love. Whoever does not love. Whoever does not love. Whoever does not love. Does not know God. 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 For God is love. 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 God's love was revealed among us. 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 God's love was revealed among us in this way. 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 God sent his only son. 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 God sent his only son into the world. 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 So that we might live. 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 Through him. Through him. Through him. Through him. Through him. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God. For God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. How did God speak to you in this reading? Beloved, not beloved, but blank is beloved. Yeah. Good to hear everyone turn to each other and say beloved. It sounds like an echo. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So that's it. You can see it's as easy as that. Uh, the way we did it, we had a, a little opening words and, and then a closing prayer, the Lord's Prayer, but you could do it simply the reading of the passage. You could use also a prepared resource. Uh, this is one that is put out by a Catholic laywoman who runs a ministry called Catholic Sprouts. And uh, I'll include a link to it in the description below. And she's done all the, the legwork there of splitting up the passage. And she's included a, a brief reflection as well, um, which you can use or not. Uh, so I will include a link to this. But you, you needn't have a particular resource. You can just use your Bible and go through with a pencil and put little hash marks to divide up the passage or, or print it out in, in, ahead of time. I'll include also a link to the sheet that we used when, when we prayed it, um, so you can see an example of what it might look like. Above all, I would urge you, pray scripture with your children. Help them to see that the Bible is not only to be understood in the mind, but it is also to live in the heart, to speak to our souls as God's living word. And I'd point out that this method could be used by a group of adults as profitably as a group of children. It is another tool, another method, another means of engaging with Scripture, which is what the Church calls us to do in this holy season of Lent. May it be a season of peace for you. May it be a season of journeying deeper into faith, that you may come closer to Christ as we journey toward the cross and toward Easter. God bless you.